Are you winning the battle for relevance from an HR or people leadership perspective? How relevant is your employer brand? And if you were losing the battle for relevance, would you even know? Because you know, this is the reality. You know, most businesses and brands are actually a long way down the path toward becoming irrelevant before they have any clue. And by the time they realize it, often it is almost too late. And you look at, for instance, Kodak or HMB Music or even Blackberry as an example of this. You know, in the space of three years, Blackberry in the US went from having 43% market share to just 5.2% market share. That is how quickly a brand can go from hot to not. That means how quickly you can lose that battle for relevance. And right now in the HR people leadership space, things are changing, things are shifting. In fact, there is a perfect storm of social, technological, demographic shifts, which mean the whole game of employee engagement and people leadership is changing. It's going to look very different in the future to what it did in the past. You know, business as usual is simply not going to cut it in the years to come. And the challenge for organizations and leaders is how do you reinvent yourself and embrace new ways of doing things in the face of these changes? Now I've spent the last nine years tracking some of the key trends shaping business and society. And what I look to do in this presentation called Winning the Battle for Relevance is actually draw on that experience to give attendees or audience members some powerful insights into the key trends that are going to change the whole nature of HR and people leadership in the years to come. But you know, this session is far more than just a presentation looking at future trends. This is really geared toward you know, strategies for how you can you know, navigate some of these shifts in order to emerge from this time of change and disruption and upheaval stronger and more relevant than ever. Because you know, plenty of brands across the board have done just that. You look at IBM in the 90s, you look at, at Harley Davidson in recent decades, you even look at, at Lego. Lego are the perfect example of a brand that has reinvented itself as times have changed and stayed ahead of the curve and ahead of the competition. When you think about Lego, they went from making plastic blocks and play sets to embracing online you know, gaming technologies, even smartphone apps. Now what can we learn from an HR or people leadership perspective from a brand like Lego? And that's what I look to do in this presentation, is bring in a pile of examples from you know, other companies and leaders and organizations around the world, best practice of what brands are doing in order to stay relevant to not just their current employees, but their future employees. And my, my goal in this session is this, that audience members will leave with a clear action plan for riding the waves of change in the years to come. Because as Charles Darwin said, it is not the strongest that will survive, nor is it the most intelligent. It is those who are most responsive to change. And you know, that principle is so true, whether you're talking about an organism or an organization. We are all faced with a decision you know, as we look at some of the changes that are unfolding. Will you evolve or will you face extinction? I don't know about you, but I think the first option is a far, far smarter one. 